man? Yeah. I'm good. We're here tonight. Is well, it really? Finally, I've been, I've been battering you off. You've been looking at me like, You've you got want, you. like you want a street fight with me. <laughs> but I had some obligations when I got here. You're very pushy, and it's how you need to be. Thank you very much, Gareth. Mr. Byrne. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. 50-50 fights, you've just been talking about on yeah. there. We've waited a long, long time for a lot of these to be happening. Yeah. Now they seem to be coming in droves. Yeah. Absolute droves. How do you think this one's going to go Saturday? Well, they're going to run out of these eventually. Um, and, but the great thing is there's a conveyor belt of talent coming behind them, and there always is in boxing. I've gone for a controversial draw. I think the judges and the public will be split. I think some people will favour Usyk style. Some people will favour Fury's style. I think they'll nullify each other. I know they both look in, in fantastic shape. And, and conventional wisdom would say that a great Fury would probably beat a great Usyk. But I just feel that they'll try and feel each other out. And it will be like a chess match where they're pondering over. Absorbing. I never find it boring as you don't yeah. either. Yeah. Boring isn't but a word we use. The general public. Yeah, who think they're going to get a slugfest between two big men. Yeah. I think it will be a very absorbing contest. Listen, I loved David Hay against Nikolai Valuyev. I loved Vladimir Klitschko and Tyson Fury. Yeah. I love absorbing contests where you cannot pick who wins the round sometimes. Yeah. You, you see people making adjustments all the time rather than, you know, say, what have we seen recently? I'm trying to think of Wardley and Clark, for example. Again, different kind of fight where two guys leave everything they've got in the ring. These two guys are undefeated. They've both been able to pick other opponents apart. They've always delivered when they had to. Alexander Usyk on the road, Tyson Fury, finds the cloak of invincibility whenever he's in trouble. I think he beat Wilder in that first fight anyway, on points, even though he yeah. went down yeah. twice. It was a draw on the record books. I just think it's gonna be so close. If you forced me on this fence not to get steel splinters in my backside, I would pick Fury to win on points or late stoppage. But I just think it's gonna be a draw, and that's just my gut feeling on it. But going on his last four or five opponents, the level of his opponent and the way he's boxed hasn't been nowhere near Uzi's level. And this is what's making me kind of feel, oh, I'm leaning it. Look, I love Tyson. We've got to back the Brit all the time. But I'm just thinking. So like, you think, you sit, so I don't think, Fury is very good with his one-two. He's very good with his footwork. He's extremely fit. He's clearly very light. The engine's going to be great for this fight. I think he's going to move. Yeah. And I think he's going to, rush you sick at times and try and rush him it's what lennox lewis would have done stabbing attacks stabbing attacks try and rush him lean on him hold him hit him with a one two try and hit him with the uppercut try and get in here when they're in close and then get away again you sick is going to be going back and forwards round there as, as he does as he does looking for those angles big body to look at yeah. but i don't Unless he catches Fury clean by a punch he doesn't see, I don't see him knocking Fury out. I can see him outboxing him, but I can see Fury outboxing Uzik and or out hustling Usyk yeah. at times as well. But there's been a few rumours that Uzik's knocking his sparring partners out. I know now. you're pushing. You've probably got. You put your house on Usyk, haven't you? No, you no, I haven't. House on, I bet you've put your house <laughs> no, on I Usyk, haven't. Sean Burns. Right. If you're homeless after this fight. <laughs> It's your own right. fault. Gareth, one thing I never do is bet on heavyweight boxing. I never Ever. bet on it anyway. Ever. It, do you know, it was 16 to 1 when I was calling it a controversial draw, like for two months. It's now about 12 to 1 a couple of days ago. Yeah. It's not a bad bet. But yeah. I won't bet on it because I, I don't want me to, to be going, oh, here we go, here we go. I don't want to feel like that. And you don't want to lose a uh, few pounds. No, but also, <laughs> do you know I wouldn't put much on it if I did. But also, there's, I have a feeling I've watched both guys through their careers, yeah, yeah, yeah. and I don't really want there to be a loser either, because they're, oh, so, um, they're so brilliant, the pair of them. Bang on Thank there. Thank God they're having two fights. Yeah. You know? Yeah, well, that's like, that could be three. They could, well, I think we need Joshua and Fury at some point. Definitely. Because I think for Fury to be, like I said, that cloak of invincibility, for him to be the guy of this era, he needs to beat him, Usyk, and he needs to beat Joshua and, and Fury's come out and said quite patently, no, this is a two fight deal. I'm honouring two fights with Usyk. Joshua's going to be next March. But what a time. We waited and waited and waited for this, didn't we? 30 years. 
Well, but also we waited five years. But we also we waited five, six years in this period now for like we never got Wilder against Joshua when we should have got it. We never got Wilder against Klitschko when we should have got it. Yeah. Um, had Turkey Al Sheikh and the Saudi Arabian investment team and the Riyadh season come along three years ago, we'd have got all the fights. Much different. Money makes the timing right and the egos disappear because they're not arguing about the purse splits. And, and this is almost the richest prize in sports at the moment. Oh, Always has been. 120, 150 million US dollars on the line here. Wow. 100 million for Fury and 50 million for Usyk. I understand. <laughs> I think I would too. Gareth? Thank you very much. Well, get me man. every day, yeah? God bless you. Yeah, yeah, because I said I'd do it with you every day, didn't I? <laughs> do it every day. Because otherwise you're going to hit me the fucking elbow. That's twice on a Sunday. <laughs> I'm just, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Cheers, brother. God bless, Gareth. Pleasure. God bless you.